Welcome to art class. Let's learn about charcoal. Charcoal is so much fun. It is so versatile and beautiful and expressive. Let's talk about some of the different tools you can use when creating art with charcoal. First of all, you have compressed charcoal. Compressed charcoal is dark. You can make controlled lines. You can really press hard and it is pretty hard to erase. It blends out really well, but you can um, really get in large areas, coverage. Notice it does make a lot of dust. Make sure not to inhale the dust. This is all around charcoal. You can use it for anything. You can lay stuff out. You can use it to create like a shaded object, like a sphere, which I'll show you in my next video. Next, we have vine charcoal. Willow or vine charcoal is made with sticks from grapevines or willow. It's soft and it's made without a binding agent. So it's basically just a burnt piece of stick. It allows it to be erased really easily. Um, it's really soft. You cannot get a lot of dark tones with your charcoal. I use willow or vine charcoal to lay out my composition on canvases when I'm going to paint and it can easily be erased with a rag. So if you're not sure what you're going to do, use that willow or vine charcoal. I like to use the black erasers to erase my charcoal. You can see how easily willow and vine charcoal can be erased while the compressed charcoal is a little bit tougher to erase. Um, using your eraser as a drawing tool is also a really good idea. You can get back in there and add highlights with that. Next, we have the white charcoal, which is often called white charcoal, but it's not actually charcoal. Charcoal cannot be made white. White chalk, as it is, is chalk or calcium carbonate mixed with a binder. It doesn't blend as well as black charcoal, but you can use it to add highlights and little details into your charcoal drawings, and it is really great. I love using it. White charcoal pencils as well you can use. We have charcoal pencils. I have a 2B and a 6B. I'm going to start out with the 2B, just show you the difference. A 2B gets pretty dark. It doesn't smudge as much as the 6B. This is the 6B. You can see it's quite a bit darker. Next, we have the white charcoal pencil. This actually smudges a little bit better than the white charcoal stick. And I love that for adding details. This is called a tortillion. A lot of people just call it a smudge stick. It is made with rolled up paper. And this one is by Generals. These are great. I, I really like these. I never used these as much when I first started using charcoal. I just used to use my hands to blend, which I still do. But I do use these to get a little bit more control with the blending. Um, as you can see, your hands get really messy. Um, if you use your smudge stick, you can actually use it to draw. You can pull the charcoal out. You can use it for things like animal fur or creating texture or just to round something out. So watch, see how I pull that color out or color, how I pull the black and white out. So these are really great. And how you keep your smudge stick nice and clean and nice and sharp is you use this little paddle with the sandpaper on it and you rub that to make the point and clean it off. And when you're done, you can just tear off the top layer of sandpaper and find a new one underneath. Those tend to get really dirty. In terms of your colored or your uh, charcoal pencils, make sure to use the sharpener that came with them and colored pencils for that matter. Don't use an electric sharpener and try not to drop them because they can break in little pieces inside and then you know how frustrating it is to try to sharpen a pencil and have it continuously breaking on you. So be really careful with your pencils. Uh, fixative is really important. We will talk about that in another video. It's basically like hairspray for your charcoal and it keeps it from smudging. Um, this is the sheet that I have that has all the information on it and I will have that available to download on my website. Remember that charcoal is not pencil. It can be expressive, it can be rough, it can be however you want it to be. It doesn't have to be smooth and perfect. That's what I love about charcoal. It's so expressive. Another pencil that's fun to use is the carbon sketch pencil. It's kind of like in between a graphite pencil and a super dark charcoal pencil. It's so, it's a little bit smoother like graphite, but it is so dark. Watch this blend. Watch what happens when I do the same thing with the 6B charcoal pencil. It has the same amount of darkness, but it smudges a little bit more, meaning you get that dark smudge, but with the carbon pencil, you have a little bit more control of the softness of the smudge. Now let's try the 2B pencil and see how that smudges out as well. You have to try a little bit harder to make this one darker and that's much softer. So there's carbon. 
and you can see it smudges there's six B and there's the two B. I don't know if I talked about erasers yet, but I like to use both the kneaded eraser and this black eraser by Factus. You can get that on Blick. Um, it works really well. Uh, let me show you another really fun thing. This is great. It's charcoal dust. So you can save that dust either from your charcoal drawings or you can actually grate your charcoal and your sandpaper and you can use it to add really smooth transitions and values and it's super subtle. You can use it for things like portraits or a still life that you need to be very, very detailed in. You can use a small brush or a big brush or whatever you need. This is an example of a portrait done by one of my students using the brush. I also love to draw on black paper. Look at how dramatic this can be. Um, and this is just a quick scribble. It's like a two minute drawing, but you can do a lot with black paper. Don't forget to add black charcoal onto black paper and it makes it look really dramatic. So um, I'm gonna finish up with this and have a great time using charcoal. Don't forget to spray everything with fixative when you are done and your charcoal won't budge.